Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin Ve salatu ve selamu ala eşrafil hılki ecma'in Muhammedi ve ehli beytihi tayyibin al-tahirin Allahümme salli ala Muhammedi ve ali Muhammed We are in the subject of fiqh We have completed the chapter of taqlid And we are in chapter of taharat or purifying things Or purification uh, well, in Islam, there is a, a great law of purifying the, the nejis things or unpurified agents. Uh, and this by itself, using water so much, uh, is really uh, one of the miracles of Islam. In the sense that Islam came in a country where water was not available, in a desert of Saudi Arabia, till today water is not uh, so easily available and um, in those days was very difficult to get water and still there is a, a, a great stress about using water in purifying from religious things in wudu in ghusl and um, well before eating after eating and so on always uh, recommend people to use water to purify themselves you know? uh, so if the religion was man-made religion then man-made religion will think about the environment there. You say, well, there is no water. How can I uh, encourage them to use water so much, you know? But it shows by itself it is really religion made by Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he is the uh, uh, founder and the order from him. Uh, so this subject of Tarat is discussing about the uh, starting with water, because water is the main agent for purifying things uh, well later on it will come about the earth how it will purify the shoes or about the sun uh, purify the um, fixed uh, things like the building but mainly to purify our body or our uh, cloth or the uh, kitchen the uh, plates etc we use water and because um, water is different uh, the water is one one type of water but they put there are five types of water because issues related to each type are different that is why they classify the water otherwise water is one type of water uh, generally they start the difference between water and non-water and they said uh, there is two types there is a plain water or pure water and there is a mixed water like juice you know in my protocol water of orange the word to water transition uh, so said so though rose water so you use the word water but it is rose water uh, blossom water that is a mixed type of water so they said what we mean for a purification of the things we need to uh, use the pure type of water, the plain water, unmixed with other things, and not water like juice extracted from things, but there is a uh, sugar in it, there is salt in it, and it is not, apparently is not called as water. Uh, you see, the water is a clear, they say whatever the people call it, pure water is water. Well, if you put a little, uh, let us say, um, juice in a fountain of water, you put little juice, it will not change to orange juice, you know. But if you put too much and it change its shape, then it will not be pure water, which really is called a mixed water. Uh, but that is known by people, they can differentiate between a pure water and mixed water. So he start the issue number 15 to describe pure and mixed water. He say water is either pure or mixed. Mixed water or he say ma'ul mudaf in Arabic means the water which is obtained from something like melon, juice or rose water or that water in which something else is mixed. For example, so much dust is mixed in it that it may no longer uh, be called uh, as water. If too much dust, it is too much mud, then it is not really pure water, so it's not regarded as water. 
So when say with the water, you can perform wudu with, by water, for example, uh, not by rose water or not by blossom water, not by orange juice. Uh, these are not allowed because these are mixed type of water. We say we use water for purifying or wudu or ghusl. Is that the discussion about pure water? And now we come to uh, different types of uh, pure water. He said any water other than mixed water is called pure water or al-ma'ul mutlaq, total water, pure water. And they are of five types. Uh, core water, under core water, running water, rain water, water of a well. Uh, you see, as I said, these five types of water, they are the same, but depend on the size or on the uh, place or other thing, there are different issues in purification comes, you know. So this division uh, actually uh, for the uh, uh, quality and the quantity of the water, otherwise water as it, it is the same, you know, in the small amount of water or big amount of water is water, but the issues related to the purifying things might be different. That is why he put it differently. He said core water, which is a special size, will uh, explain what is core, definition of core, or under core, which is a small amount of water or qalil. And running water, again, it by itself is an issue, like the pipes where there is a running water. It is not like a fountain. Core is like a fountain with a special size. It will come. Uh, small water, well, like you have a cup of water or a buck of water, a small amount. And running water is the water which is uh, coming like the tap water we use at homes. And rain water, naturally, when rain comes. And water of a well, well, nowadays in modern life, hardly you have water of a well. But however, in certain villages where they have water only from the well, Sometimes size of the water, amount of the water is not equal to core, maybe less than core, but it has its own rules and regulations. And that is why I put it as a separate uh, subject um, called uh, water of a well. Start first with core water. What is core water and uh, what are its important? Issue 16, water which fills a container whose length, breadth, and depth are three and a half spans each is equal to a core. Based on this, the volume of water will be uh, uh, 42.875 cubic span. Though 36 cubic span is enough, to determine core by weight is not free uh, from Ishkal. Ishkal means uh, some problem or query. Here, uh, give the definition of core water. If you have a fountain at home, uh, how much size of the fountain should be to have a core water? Or if you have a container at the roof of the house, as in Middle East is very usual, uh, they have a container, so the water is taken to the container, and then from the container come to the house so that it has a pressure. Sometimes the uh, city water <coughs> is not coming with the pressure, so they put container above. So what is the size of core water for the container? Or if container is big, we can say container is as big as two core, or three core, or four core. So what is the core water? He said it is a three and a half span. A span is span of the uh, human being we choose. Because in the old days there was no meter and centimeter. So the size they say by span. One span, two span, three span. So he said it is three and a half by three and a half by three and a half. The length, the width, and the height, three and a half by three and a half by three and a half means a cubic three and a half spans will make one core water. So if you have, let us say, a fountain, which is the length is four span, the uh, width is a three span, 
and the depth is four span also. So you say three by four, 12 by four, 48. So it is more than 42.875. So it is core. The size may be different, maybe narrow, but very big, maybe wide, maybe very shallow, but a huge and or maybe small, but deep. Well, it depends on what container and what fountain. But you say if you take the cubic span, span of the hand, and the span they said is almost 22 to 25 centimeter. If you take a span of the man, the neutral one, maybe more, maybe less, but they say almost a quarter of a meter means almost 25 centimeter, 24, 25, around that, you know. When you make the span, you see that it is about that, that much. Uh, but he said, so the three and a half by three and a half by three and a half, and that is, he made it 42.875 span, a cubic span. But then he mentioned that though it looks that 36 cubic span is sufficient. Because there are some views that the total is not 42 point something, but it is 36, the total. So that is why so that view which say 36 is also a solid view. Now, uh, it is in, important to know that some of the ulama, they said 27 cubic span is sufficient. In three span, by three by three, not three and half. Three by three and by three is sufficient. And uh, so it become the smaller amount of water become core water. But according to Ayatollah Sistani, he said 36 is sufficient, but it is better to be 42.875, that is uh, roughly 43 cubic spans. If it is 43 and more, we say it is one core and more. Maybe two core, maybe three core, maybe five core, whatever it is, you know. But minimum, it should be this much in order to be called as core water. And that is uh, important size. It, the issues will come why this much of water is important. But he said, uh, to determine core by weight is not free from ishkal. According to some ulama, they made calculation, and he said it will come to about 470 uh, or 460, 470 kilograms of weight of water. It will come by liter, and each liter, if you see, it is one kilo, so it will come about that much. Uh, I mean, 420, if it is, different size, you know, 27, you say, or uh, 42 or 36. Some make more, some make less. Uh, but you know, uh, seawater is heavier than uh, the pure water uh, and uh, ordinary water, which has salts, also become heavier. And sometimes well water, if you take it out and you fill a fountain at home, again, might be heavier than that. Uh, so, according to Ayatollah Sistani, he said to depend on weight of the water is not out of a problem, ishkal is a query. So, that is not a very dependable method. According to him, but according to other ulama, maybe dependable. He, I mean, the ulama, as we said, they might differ on this issue. But according to Ayatollah Sistani, he said, uh, we cannot depend on weight, but we can depend on the cubic a span, not a cubic feet, cubic span of the human being. Issue 17, now he is discussing about importance of core water. See, if essential najasat like urine, a blood, or anything which has become najis, like a najis cloth, falls in core water, and if the water acquires the smell, color, or taste of that najasat, it becomes najis. But if it does not, then it is not najis. Now here, if we have a small buck of water, and if your hand has a drop of blood, a 
if you put your hand in that bucket of water, all of it will be nages, has to be thrown out. And even the container itself become nages, has to be washed. Not only your hand will not be purified, but also the bucket of water, all will be nages. But if you have at home a fountain of water, or you are in agricultural land where there is a, on the uh, ground there is a fountain, which, in which the size uh, of that fountain is more than 42.87 span, and then it is core or above core. Now, if your finger, let us say, has a blood, if you put it inside the water and then clean till the original impurity, which is the blood, will go, and then you wash your hand, your hand will be tahar. And that container will not be nages because it is big amount of water, which we call it core water. Not a small amount, it is big amount which reached core. That is why the size of the core is important, because if an impurity, the hand, the cloth, you have a cloth with the blood, you want to wash it, and you have a fountain, if the fountain has less than core, if you put the cloth there, all the water will be nages. But if it is core or more than core, you can put the cloth there, you wash it from blood, from urine, from whatever it is, and then squeeze it and then clean it. It will become clean and the water will remain clean. Now we give an, another example. Well, if there is a small fountain of water, which is one core or two core, and then some of the cloth have too much original impurity, like blood, like urine of children, cloth of children, and you wash it, by time you feel that water has changed its attributes, either its smell or color or taste. It changed its color, smell or taste by majasset. I mean, the color may not change if it is urine, but the smell of urine will come. Or the taste of water, you see, is effect of urine is there. If a blood is washed, little blood will not change the color, but if too much blood, the cloth was full of blood, if you wash it, you see the water become red or little purple. So the color has changed, the smell has changed, the taste of the water has changed. But not changed by itself, changed by the impurity itself, changed because of the blood, changed because of the urine, changed because of, let us say, wine if you throw it there, you know, or changed because of stool washed, some dress of the children washed, for example. So because of impurity, it has changed. Uh, so here, let's say, if smell, taste, or color of core water, or even more than core water, has changed because of the impure agents, then all that water will be nages. You cannot use it for wudu, you cannot use it to clean your body, you cannot use it to clean your cloth, and so on. So it has to be thrown out. But as long as the taste, color, and the smell of the core water has not been changed by effect of najasat, to little najasat, if you wash it, it will be pure and tahir and clean. So to clean our body or our cloth with core water, if the impurity, original impurity, is not too much to change the taste or smell or color of that water is little than just by putting our finger there and removing blood or whatever urine or whatever najasset is there. If we wash it with that core water, it will be tahar, will be clean. Now details will come to wash it one time, two times, three times. There are more details are going to come, but in short, if the core water remain as a pure water, it is suitable for uh, making impure things as pure, as tahir. And it is suitable for performing wudu, otherwise, even if little impure things fall there, 
it will not be najis because it is more than core, core, more than core. If it is little, as we said, little than core, then it, all the water will be najis. Okay. We come to issue 18. If the smell, color, or taste of core water changes owing to something else which is not najis, it does not become najis. Well, if the water remained stagnant for some time, its smell will change, well, because of, let us say, bacteria and fermentation and other things. So the taste or color or smell of water has changed, but not due to impure things, not due to blood or urine or uh, alcohol or other things, no. Due to just natural causes, you know. So the water will not be nages. Okay, it may not be suitable for drinking, but it is not najis. If it remains as pure water, not mixed water, I mean not mixed, not too much dust, but it become mixed water. If it remains, but the water, because of fermentation or other effects, it changes its color. So it may not be healthy for drinking. That is something else, you know. We are not discussing whether it is healthy or not. But we are discussing for removing impurity, it is still suitable because it is tahar and clean, and the changing of the color or taste or the smell due to something other than najasit, something tahar, so that will not affect it to be najis. Issue 19, if an essential najasit, like blood, you see najasit will come but what is essential and what is contaminated, Najasat? In Arabic called Najis and Mutanajis. The original impure things are called essential Najasat, like urine, blood, stool, wine, dead body, and uh, so on. Uh, so these are original impurities. Uh, so these are called essential Najasat. But if other things, like my hand, which is usually pure, contaminated with one of the najasat, it become also impure, but not original impurity. It is contaminated type of impurity. So you see, it is najas, but not with essential. Essential najasat is not there. Maybe dried and finished, but now my hand is najas, but there is no essential impurity. So essential means the original the najis thing that is uh, well how it translated. Otherwise in Arabic they say najis and mutinajis. If an essential najasat like blood etc. reaches water which is more than a core and changes the smell, color or taste of a part of it. If the changed, if the unchanged part is less than a core, the entire water becomes najis. But if the unchanged part is one core or more, then only that part which has changed will be najis. So these are just practical examples from our life. Uh, those who live in rural areas where they use the core or fountain uh, with water, they do not have the running water like we have in cities, they may face these problems. That is why you see these details are there, you know. However, in fact, we need to know those issues. He said, suppose you have uh, more than core water, one and a half core water, and you have a cloth with the blood, you washed it with the blood at the border of the core, so some of the water changed its color, not all the water in the fountain. That part which changed its color by blood become nages. But does all the water become nages or only, only only that part? He said if the rest of the water are still more than core, core will not be nages by meeting najasat, so remain tahir. But if when you take this part which become red, when, if you take it out, the amount of water is less than core, so actually it is less than core, contaminated najasat, all the water will be core. Sometimes it happens in a river. Water of river, you know, is a thousands of core water. But if a cloth full of blood, if you wash it, 
that little water in front of you will remain red in color for maybe two, three, five minutes, and then gradually will be mixed with river. So that much will remain nudges. But the rest of the river is not nudges because it is naturally more than thousands, of course. But if it is a, in a small fountain, and let us say half the water become red because of blood, other half is not affected. But the water itself was one and a half core, for example. When you take half core, three quarter of core will remain. That is less than core, so all the water will be in edges. But if quarter of core become red with the blood, and we said its size is 1.5 core, so naturally still one point quarter, 1.25, is still pure and clean and not affected by color of Najasat, so that will remain Tahir. So this is how to say that even if a small amount of water become Najis, we have to see the rest amount. If it is more than core, will not be affected. If it is less than core, then all become Najis and contaminated. Actually, there is a, a question like a jock. They ask that we have amount of water exactly core water, exactly one core. We have two fountains. Both are exactly one core in size. In one of the fountains, a dog came and drank water. In the other fountain, a dog came and urinated there. Now, which one is Tahir, which one is Najis? Now, psychologically, we say, well, the one which is urinated there naturally is Najis, but the one who drank from it is Tahir. But actually, this is not the case. Because when we say it is exactly one core, I mean, theoretically speaking, when the dog drank part of it, become nudges. I mean, contaminated by the body of the dog itself. But the other part, when the dog urinated, the urine of the dog is little, will not change the smell, color, taste of the core, so it remains tahir. So you see, if it is less than core, will become like a small amount of water, will be nudges by contamination. But if it is core or more than core, unless snail color test will change, otherwise will remain tahir. <laughs> Issue 20, if water of a spring is connected to core, the water of the spring will make nudges water pack. But if it falls on the nudges water, drop by drop, it will not make it pak. Pak means tahir, but that is the word used in Persian or in Urdu. And some of the translators were originally from Pakistan, so the word tahir in Arabic or purify, they use pak, uh, the same word in, in Persian, you know. Uh, yes. Except when something is placed over the spring so that before the drops are formed, it connects the nudges water. Better still if the water of the spring is totally merged with the nudges water. You know. You see what he means? Uh, here, the spring connected to core. You have a fountain and the water is splashing out. That's what he means spring, not spring a well, you know, brother, when the water is coming out. Now suppose the fountain is core and the water coming out is connected to the core. If your hand is in edges, if you put it your hand above the water, the water is not core, little water, but because it is coming and in, in touch with the fountain itself, so it is in connection with that. So it will make your hand tahir. But if the water in the fountain, after coming out of the spring, become less than core, and you are putting your hand, the najasat will go to the fountain. If it become less than core, become najis naturally. But if it is more than core, and the water comes out of the 
a spring, a gush is there, and you put your hand, your hand will be tahir. So I say better, it drops to come more, if it come drop by drop, not continuous, then you are talking about a small amount of water. Maybe for a cleaning you need two times or three times. If it come continuous, so it is in continuation with the core water, so it will clean the hand one time. You see, that is the difference between little water and core water. So you see the water coming and, uh, from uh, the spring, uh, and which is connected to the fountain, but total is more than core. So when it comes together, it will wash the one. But sometimes it will come drop by drop, will not come continuous. If it is not continuous, then it is a small amount of water. Small amount of water has different way of cleaning, which will be discussed. Maybe two times, maybe three times, depend on the jacet, body. Is it a body? Is it a cloth? There are more details to be said, you know. So let us read it again. You say, if water of a spring is connected to core, in the fountain itself is core. The water of, of the spring will make nudges water pack. If you have a nudges thing or your a glass of water which is nudges and that the spring will come to it continuously will make it tahir. But if it falls on the nudges water drop by drop, you have a glass of water which is najazet and from spring only drops are coming. That will not make it tahir because it is not con in continuation with core. It becomes separated a drop by a drop. It will not make it pak or tahir, except when something is placed over the spring so that before the drops are formed, it connect, connects the nudges water. So if, if it is in continuation, what you want to say? If it is in continuation, it will make the energy sink clean if you have a water and it will gush in the water it will make a tahir. But if it comes drop by drop, then the cleaning will be with a small amount of water, which is a different issue. Issue 21, if a nudges object is washed under a tap which is connected with core, and if water which flows from that object remains connected with core and does not contain the smell, color, or taste of the najasat or essential najasat, that water will be tahir. You see, you, you are standing in front of the sink in the bathroom to wash your hand. In the sink, you are using tap water. Tap water itself is little, but because it is connected in the pipes, and pipes will go to the city. Pipes, if you collect total of it, will be naturally more than core or thousands of cores. But it will come through small pipe. He said now the water, when it reach on the blood of your hand or urine, whatever najasat in your hand or your cloth, you are washing your cloth under tap water in the sink. It's a splash. That water will splash, is it tahir or najis? That is the issue. You see, if the water will splash, because you are, though you are washing with uh, um, core water, running water, connected to core water, and that running water, some water will splash. If that drops of water, are not having a smell, taste, or color of najasat, then it is tahir. But if some drops splash, but it has color of najasat, let us say it is red, so it shows that there is a blood in it and it is small drop separated from the water, it will be najis. So when you wash from the spring under tap, make sure that the water continue running and the splashed water which comes out should not have color, taste, or smell of najasat. So if it's splash, will be tahir. But you bring your hand down till you remove the original impurity, the blood or urine or whatever. You remove original impurity. And then the contaminated one usually, which really have no, will not change color, smell, or taste. It is okay. So he's discussing that practical problem.
<coughs> issue 22, if a part of core water freezes to ice, leaving a quantity which is not equal to a core, and then Najasat reaches it, it will become Najis, and water obtained from the melting ice also will be Najis. Again here, understood, but he's giving a practical example in a cold areas, in some villages in cold area, they have a small fountain of water, maybe one core and a quarter core, the amount. But let us say half of it got freezed in winter. And then a child with his hand nudges came and removed the ice and put his hand on the rest of the water. The rest of the water is not core because half of it become ice. The rest of the water is, let us say, half core or three quarter of core. So it's not a complete core. He said all the water will be nudges. Now, if the uh, ice melt gradually and then water become one core, will it be tahir? He said, no, it will not be tahir. Because it is under core water, little water, and then did not become tahir by being connected with running water or another core water. It's connected with little drop by drop, the ice the drop by drop will come. So even if later on become more than core, but it is all is nages. But if that part of ice, which was that part of water which become ice, is leaving water in that fountain equal to core and more, here if somebody with nages hand put his hand will not be nages because still it is core. And naturally when the ice uh, melt by effect of sun, for example, it, the water will be more than core, naturally. It was core and now become more than core. Issue 23, if the quantity of water was equal to a core, and later on, if someone doubts whether it has reduced to less than a core, it will be treated to be equal to a core. That is to say, it will make a Najis object as purify, Pak or Tahir, and will not become Najis if Najasa treats it. And if water was less than a core, and one suspects that it may have become equal to a core, it will be treated as under core water. Again, this is a, a practical problem. Sometimes, you know, the fountain, the water is up and down, not, not always equal size, you know especially if it depends on rain water. So sometimes rain is too much, the water is too much there on the ground, and sometimes it is less, you know. Now, every time you come and you check and you put a size and see how many span depth, how many span width, how many span wide, sometimes possible, sometimes not possible. If it is round, circle, then you cannot get it. So not easy always to, you know. but you know that this water was core before. And now little of it has been reduced. I don't know that little make it under core or still it is core. It was, let us say, one and a half core, for example. And now some of it has been reduced by effect of heat or dried or taken by people, whatever reason. But now what remained, I am not sure. He said because the original case was that it was a core, you continue accepting it as core until you are definite it is below core. Because originally it was core, so you assume that it is still core and it will be, make Najis object as Tahr and clean. But if you have little water, less than core, and then rain comes, for example, after rain stops, the water increased, but you are not sure whether it has reached a core or not. He said you will regard it as less than core. Why? Because originally you were certain it was less than core, and your certainty certainty will continue till you are certain again that it become core or more than core. You have doubt that it is now um, one core or more, not, but, but before you were certain it was less than core. So the certainty will not be removed by doubt 
but it will be removed by another certainty. So he said these are practical problems sometimes faced in life. I think it is sufficient up to here. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu ala Muhammad wa alihi al-tahirin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alihi Muhammad.